think something's arrived. Amazonians. <laughs> Say, uh, well, I'll show it to you in a minute. Oh, no. Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer, and today. You might have noticed we have a new website, yes. PC Gaming Tech Summary dot com. All right. So you can head on over there um, and uh, have much easier access to the deals uh, we have available. Um, and uh, I've been waiting for the Poco M3 smartphone, brand new uh, company, started up in 2018, designed cell phones, and this cell phone just became available in my area, okay? First release in February of 2021, very, very new, brand new, all right? And I'm just waiting for that baby to arrive, and we're going to unbox that and have a look. In the meantime, I have a couple other packages that have arrived, so we might as well have a look, see what's there, okay? All right. I'll zoom in on this for you so you can have a better look, all right? One moment. Okay. It's 2,400 megabytes per second, up to. Okay, two terabyte, all right? I got this baby uh, because we're doing making the videos and uh, we need more storage space, you know? And uh, the most, um, you know, two terabytes is pretty much the most anyone can afford. It's very expensive as you go up. All right, what have we got here? Seagate Limited Warranty. Oh my gosh, talk about small writing and in all kinds of languages. All right. Okay, we'll put that down. Let's take this baby out. Okay. All right, we now reveal it. Okay, pull this out. There it is. Okay, you can't see it too good. Uh, very small writing, but this is an M.2 storage device, NVMe. So what you do, there's a slot in your motherboard, you stick that in and you put a little teeny tiny screw down and that's it, and then you and then you gotta set it up sometime. So um, I'll take you through that. Okay. So, now what have we got here? What have we got here? It is a game note esports gaming headphone. Woohoo! All right. Let's check this baby out. It's all hermetically sealed here, you see this? This side too, it's all sealed up, baby. All right. 
What does it say? Let's have a look at the box before I open it up. Esports gaming headphone. Proportional appearance and texture. Simple and generous. Single, suspended, adjustable headband. Ergonomic design. High magnetic. 50 millimeter speaker with strong sounding quality. The memory foam is suitable for players with different head shapes. <laughs> English speaker 50 millimeter. Blah, 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 blah. It's a 3.5 millimeter plug. Proportional appearance and texture, simple and generous. High magnetic 50 millimeter speaker with strong sounding quality, direct gaming sound and meticulous high and low functional frequency when listening to music. The memory foam is suitable for players with different head shapes and is highly wrapped with your ears. It is comfortable to wear for a long time and has good sound insulation effect. Single suspended adjustable headband, ergonomics design, comfortable to wear, and violence and not easy to damage. Suitable for different people the weight of the whole machine is moderate. Wearing for a long time without pressure. Okay. Okay. Just going to break the security seals here. And open her up. Security alerts. Security alerts. Other one. All right. What the? Are you kidding me? Not again. Well, there's not much in the box, but the product. Okay. Right. There's the microphone. The microphone. Okay. Okay. How do I look? Okay. All right, so we're going to get on to installing that M.2. And I'll let you know how these headphones um, do over time. Be right back. So I'll just show you real quick uh, where I live uh, in the South Pacific in New Zealand. Uh, we have each of the uh, power outlets has uh, switch on off switches on them. Makes it a bit safer. The voltage is a bit higher. It's like 220 volt, 240 volt. So I'll just show you that real quick. Okay, so what I've done is I've set the computer on its side and uh, I've taken the screws, four screws out. Okay, four screws. Okay, so I can take the glass off. Okay, just be careful with that. Take that off. So I'm just gonna use this magnetic um, 
uh, screwdriver. Um, so I'm going to take the. Oh, what was that? That's not good. Put that baby back. Okay. So I'm just taking the smallest one, and it just comes comes into there. This is like a, a nice little pointer. You can pick up screws that you drop, like I just did, things like that. So it's just going to go in there like that, and that's what we're going to use. So we've got here a 960 Evo from Samsung. Um, it's only 250 um, gigabytes, so that's why we're switch swapping it with the two terabyte, get a lot more storage. So we're going from 250 gigabyte to 2000 gigabyte. So, um, I've been taught to um, keep the power cord plugged into the computer, but turn the switch on the power supply off. So I'll show you where that is. So just down, you can see the cord going in here, and here's the switch over here. And I just flip that. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like with the power on and off real quick. Okay, so um, you can see a light here has turned on, so I can see that there's power to the board. Um, and then now I'm just going to switch that baby off. Okay, wait for all the lights to go off. Uh, wait a few extra seconds. Okay, get the light back on. So basically, I've been taught to do that, do it that this way, because you know, we're on in New Zealand, um, we do have those special outlets. But besides that, um, this is plugged into a um, surge protector, um, guaranteed to protect against lightning. Um, so, anyways, I uh, was taught that the that it's grounded if you leave the plug plugged in but you turn the power off okay um and by me take touching the metal um frame here um i'm releasing any static electricity <clears throat> i live near the beach so um there's actually not much uh static um uh, it's, you know it's more humid than the desert so to speak so it's humid enough that there's really not a lot of static electricity around um but um so i just go through that anyways um here is the 960 evo and we're going to just take this screw off okay so there's the screw, it's on there, it's magnetized, so I'm just going to leave it there for the moment, take that away. And here is the, here's the 960 Evo, so that, that's just going to come on out. So at the, the plan is to get a uh, external um, case for this, uh, uh, 250 gigabyte, um, uh, NVMe SSD. SSD stands for solid state device. Um, basically, it's just computer chips in here where the storage goes to. Um, so there's obviously there's no spinning disk like in a HDD, a hard drive disk. Um, okay, so uh, the plan is to put it in there and then it'll be like an external um, drive. Um, a, uh, a Samsung portable SSD, the T5, um, that one is a 250 gigabyte, um, I do have a 500 as well, this is an external hard drive, goes into USB, um, I'll just show it to you real quick, so it's got the USB on that end, um, USB 3.1 I believe, and uh, it's got a USB-C here on this side. Um, so that's an, so basically I'm going to turn this into that um, so that I can just plug it into the USB port okay all right let me just put that down again this is the Barracuda Q5 SSD from Seagate to Derabyte okay goes right into here 
like that. You just push it in like that, and it just sits like that. And now I'm just going to attach the screw down to here. Gonna put the screw right into there, and that's it. Very easy. Okay. So we'll just see if we can get this to baby to work. I'm going to set the camera down because I want to use both my hands while I do this. Okay. Sorry if you can't see this. Just push it down. Okay, so that's installed now. So we've got a 970 Evo from Samsung, uh, one terabyte. Um, that's uh, supposed to be a little bit faster um, than the Seagate Q5. So I'll run a few benchmarks on that and we'll just compare the numbers. Um, and uh, basically 970 has got quite a bit of stuff on it. Um, and um, anyways, we'll talk about that later. To set up a blank M.2 NVMe drive, what you need to do is go to the left corner of your screen and right click and select Disk Management. Then you must initialize the disk. So you just make sure it's ticked and choose GPT. Uh, I'm basically choosing all the default uh, settings um, to set this up. Um, and uh, this way um, there's less chances of, of complications and errors down the track. I have read about most, most of these uh, settings um, and it's just best for, for me to keep everything the same. Okay, so once you do that, you'll be able to see the drive. Um, so disk five in this case. You'll be able to see it in disk management. Right click on it and select simple volume. Welcome to the new simple volume wizard. Click next. I'm leaving everything the way it is, the default, clicking next, as well as assigning a letter. I'm just going to let it assign a letter that it wants to. Now for the formatting, I'm, I'm leaving everything the same, except I'm giving a volume label, giving the disk a name, 2 terabyte Seagate Q5. Um, we're going to perform a quick format. After that is done, it um, show, shows you the settings it's um, set. And now you should see that disk five has a, a letter and that it's been formatted. And if you go to my computer, then you can see that it's all ready to go. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. Be sure to go to PCGamingTechSummary.com to check out our um, deals. Um, and uh, um, don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.